236 pounds no more. What's happening, brother? Well, I finally got to watch the Ken Tucker documentary. This is the used to be in a three in a uh, review for it. Okay, so let's split it down the middle. I'm going to give you the good and the bad. Now, I'm not saying it's a horrible movie, so don't get upset. But I'm going to have the good stuff about it that I liked a lot. And then I'm going to give some constructive criticism to stuff I thought maybe could uh, be worked on for future titles. Alright, so Ken Tucker and the Back Porch Pilgrims. Oh, by the way, you have to forgive me. I'm holding my uh, my video thing here because I'm laying down and my back's killing me. I made videos earlier and I did stuff, so... Anyways, the Ken Tucker and the Back Porch Pilgrims. Well, well, well. Okay. First off, I liked the music a lot in the film. Um, the music was, you know, I, I love his music. Some of, you know, there's a good couple good songs I really like a lot. And uh, my favorite song so far is Wayfaring Stranger, because that's been one of my favorite songs ever since I heard it in that Cold Mountain movie. Um, I got a lot of good stuff on there. I like seeing his family. I like seeing his little boy. He's really cute. I love seeing uh, to see his father. Um, the out the roads, the the houses, the people, you know, just down the the down home country people, you know, and because I grew up when I visited my grandma, I would see people like that, and then it was really cool to see the horse and buggies and stuff, and you know, the um, the Amish folk, I believe, the really great, really great stuff, you know, it's really great down home country, like bumpkin kind of stuff, whatever they call it, I don't know the word for it. Um, so basically, yeah, I like that. I like being able to talk to people. I thought it was really funny. The guy that didn't even know who they were. He's like, <laughs> like, yeah, right. Uh, you know, they had some good fun stuff in there. Um, let me think here. What was one of my favorite scenes? One of my favorite scenes was the guy that didn't know who was talking about what your guys are about. I liked uh, hearing his father talk about him as a young kid and stuff. Um, before I can think of my other stuff here, because my mind's kind of blanking, I'll get to the criticisms part first. So, and don't worry, it's not too bad. Um, plus, you know, we watched it and I was like, okay, now, if your movie does get picked up, which I hope it does, because it's not, it's not a horrible movie, it's a great movie, um, I think it needs to have subtitles. Because I'll tell you why for the next few reasons. So, um, I'm not, you know, I'm not holding that against you because, you know, you can't help it, you know, it's not like it's a, you know, it's just your first thing, so, who wants to sit there and do subtitles? <laughs> um, but, okay, like, the scenes that could have used the subtitles, basically, um, one thing that needed to be changed was when you're on the road, the air was just really loud and, like, outing the voices, like, making them, like, kind of, like, 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 like that, and it was really, uh, it was like a lot of too much, you know. The air, like I did, maybe the windows could have been closed or something like that, or maybe the drive could have just been the music. You know what I mean? Uh, another thing was the interviewing with the people. I think that I would have, I wanted so much more from the movie too. I'm glad there was a two be continued at the end. Um, the scene where you're talking to like him on the couch, and then his uh, partner Josh Hammond and the band members stuff and. The part of just, you know, it's like them being all in the room and stuff, there was just too much talking and stuff going on, and the air was, you know, was like whooshing, and from the, because the windows were open, and basically, uh, you know, it would have probably been nicer to have seen maybe like an enclosed, like, one-on-one -on -one with them to talk about him, because it was like kind of hard to hear around with people over there, and, um, and the one, just, Josh, just seemed like he was just going off of his head, he just like, he didn't even know what he was going to say to you. And it just like that was a thing too. Is it just feels like they, maybe they should have been prepared more. Um, maybe they should have known what they were getting into, what they were going to talk about. Um, it just seems like maybe they just didn't were like shocked with the ads, what to say. And it was just you know it was kind of like just waiting and waiting for. And then when like sometimes they saw like they were mumbling. Even you know my father and wife can hear perfectly, and they thought that too. You know, and uh, I would have really loved to see a one on one between you and Ken. Actually, like, you know how, like, the phone interview was, but actually right there. Um, 
maybe some more back glances, some pictures and stuff. But you, you know, I really like seeing the photos of, um, like with him and his wife and everything. Um, also, the one thing that kind of I hope gets to be in the sequel would be the concert scene. You got to like the point where you show him going to the corner some two years ago, and then you get the point where you're showing him playing, but it's, it cuts off and then plays the soundtrack. I don't actually hear him playing. Now, the part where he's on the couch is awesome. I mean, when he's playing the guitar and he's singing, the guy can play guitar, I'll tell you what. But, you know, I really wanted to see some footage of that. Maybe even if it was like half of the song, it would have been awesome. Uh, so basically that, you know, and then it's like when walking with him, some of the scenes just seemed like they could have been taken out, didn't mean to be there, could have had more one-on-one -on -one stuff or more deep stuff. Like with the going to the gas station part, it was kind of, it was cute with the kid and everything, but kind of silly and, um, so yeah, basically with that, but you know, I like seeing the family, and I like seeing the friends, I like seeing his dad, I think some of the people just were just not ready for stuff. Um, I don't say to be scripted, actually, I don't want it to be scripted, but I think maybe if they had an idea of what kind of, uh, um, kind of like a summary of what's going to be asked of them, like, you know, what, like, be expected to talk about your life, be expected to do this, because it seems like it was almost like a, a shock interview, off the street they were given, you know. But, um, you know, you did good with the filming, the roads, the, the houses, the seeing the people, the guy, you couldn't know what they're talking about, and that was real funny. Good stuff, I mean, really good. You weren't shaky or anything. Like, you know, when you're watching a movie, like I do, like I hear you, and you're like, you know, look, this is my friend Ken Tucker, and, and hey, Ken, how you doing? Hi, I'm Ken Tucker. You know, that's how I am, and I just really hate, are you up to close, and and you don't want to see the guy's lips or up his nose and stuff. So, basically, yeah. But, kudos. And I really, really, really hope that we get to do uh, you speed up three film together. Give me a buzz or whatever, uh, our email about what we're going to do with that soon. And, uh, hopefully down the road, you know, they can make a really big thing. Me working with Easter Shields and up and walking and realizing my dream and the stuff. And then us starting stuff down the road and... I think it would be a really big project. I think a lot of people would love to see something like that. Kind of like an inspiration thing for them all. You know, like the feature stuff that I've done. Maybe even have a couple of people I know, like a phone interview thing or something like that. I don't know. We'll, maybe we should talk. I mean, we're willing to talk. But So, basically, uh, five stars. I give you, uh, I'm going to give it, like, a 3.8. <laughs> and because, like, you know, three and three quarters of a star. Because um, there could have been some things that have been changed. And like you said too, was uh, I wasn't caring about the spelling and everything. That was funny, um, but like you know, can Tucker. That was funny. I liked that a lot. But you know, it just left a lot of wanting for more, and a little bit too much of stuff. in the air thing bothered me a lot. But other than that, all in all, you know, I like seeing them. I like hearing stuff. Just uh, if you do the sequel, please add some concert footage. And have some one-on-one -on -one stuff and muffle the air out of the, the, the microphone, cause, you know. But, um, okay, so, God bless. I hope this video works. So the last one I made for you wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. So, let's see if this one uploads on YouTube. God bless, brother. Bye.